All right, I'm in an apartment complex owned by one of the landlords we do a lot of work for, and I replaced that furnace back, I don't know, two years ago, three years ago now. And she says, I walk in the house, she says the registers aren't coming on, they're not getting warm. And it's 80 degrees in the house. 80. It's not getting warm. But we'll run through and do a check. So let's see. The filter's clean. I thought it was going to be a dirty filter. those field piece job probes. They're not really a super fast responsive probe compared to a regular manometer, but just the convenience of it makes it worth the while. Let me let this thing start up. Okay. Start up here. Seven. 
checked. Let me let this thing run. I think what's happening is I gotta go check the lady's medi medication. See if she started blood thinners and she doesn't feel it's warm at 80 degrees. It happens. Medication does that to you. So let me let the thing run. I'm gonna go talk to her, but filter's clean. gas pressure's right. I like to keep rental houses the lowest possible you can go because of uh, they don't like to change your filters. It's not that they don't like it, they just don't even probably know what's there. It's a rental house. We'll start this thing back up and we'll let it run. Okay, just as I suspected, you know, when you get into let's say a demographic where I'm at um, mine my demographic in my area is a lot older older generation most of the people I take care of are not really not below 35 40 um, just because of the area I'm in it's kind of a not necessarily a retirement area but um, it's just an area with a lot of older people. I mean, my, my, I'd say my average clientele age is probably 50, 55, average. Um, so that's when you start getting into looking at certain stuff and why this person is saying what they're saying. Because when I walked in there, I'm like, it is smoking hot in this house. It's 80 degrees. I go, what's going on? She's like, it's, the registers aren't warm. Okay. I go, but it's 80 degrees in here. She's like, it doesn't feel like 80 degrees in here. So that's when I went downstairs, checked the furnace, checked the furnace filter, make sure it wasn't, you know, uh, going off on limit, coming back on, uh, the filter was clean. Adjust the gas pressure down a little lower. Um, just because I do that in rentals because they have a tendency to not change their filters due to the fact is they rent the place and that's the land technically or whoever's responsibility it is even if there's it's their responsibility they want to take care of it to begin with because it's in the basement they forget about it so when I got back up there and I started asking her questions and I told her to feel register she said it was hot that's what it normally feels like and I go, I asked her, I'm like, well, probably you're just, you're catching it on the, you know, when it first starts up or when it's really winding down. I think that's what it is. Or she's hearing the furnace turn on, running over the register. Hey, I feel lukewarm air. She's an older lady. She lives by herself in an apartment. And I don't think she goes out too much because she was still in her pajamas at 4.50 p.m. So then I, I said, hey, let me ask you a legitimate question. Have you changed any of your medications lately? And she said, yes, two weeks ago. I go, what was it? She's like, blood pressure medication. And I go, yep. I go, there's the problem. It's not the furnace. It is a medication problem where side effects of some medication like blood pressure medicine make you feel different because they thin your blood so once they thin your blood what you're used to two three weeks ago 80 degrees doesn't feel like 80 degrees it feels like 70 degrees everyone has their own body temperature you know that or temperature they prefer this lady prefers 79 degrees she said she leaves it on 79 degrees all the way along and 74 in the summer or 72 in the summer I don't know it's kind of strange you think she'd keep it at 75 to 78 in the summer because she's cold but I think she will do it this year because if she's on the same medication blood thinner medication or blood pressure medication she will uh, definitely feel 
colder at a higher temperature so when you're out to certain customers don't assume they're insane or crazy um, you know do what you're supposed to do on a service call look and make sure everything's running right because obviously it's 80 degrees in there filters clean let it run for 15 minutes and it didn't trip on limit surprisingly enough but those are the things you got to kind of look out for not necessarily is it equipment related it could be people related uh, you know uh, and she that's one that's another thing I asked her I go well when it was when you felt cold I go what did the thermostat read or what temperature was it reading in here she's like I didn't even look at the thermostat I just felt the registers okay so I told her I go you you know if you start feeling cold turn the thermostat up it is what it is you're cold you turn the thermostat up that's all you can do but then she gets into the argument that's where I said it at before and that's when I argued back with her and I said it's your blood thinners so sometimes you gotta be a doctor too furnace doctor not people doctor but kind of goes hand in hand you're still fixing something so that's it for this one you guys know what you need to do like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one thanks